Taking a trip underground, Ukraine's president converted a Kyiv subway station into a new kind of platform, one for his first big press conference since Russia's war began. Like other underground stations, this place was a bomb shelter for local residents at the start of the invasion. Now it's offering Vladimir Zelensky top cover for a marathon meeting with the world's media, interrupted by the odd passing train. The focus was Russia's war, Western weapons and the threat of a Russian nuclear strike. Also news, two top White House officials will visit for the first time since the invasion. Given that you've got the US Defence Secretary coming into town on Sunday and the Secretary of State, and you've talked about the importance of weapons from the US and the UK coming quickly, can you, speaking frankly, set out the danger for Ukraine if your allies, like the UK, like the US, stop sending weapons so fast? Is there a chance that Russia will take land and seize and hold land in the east, in the south, and maybe even come back to Kyiv? In terms of our partners, I don't believe, and I don't even think about the possibility, that our partners won't provide us with the weapons which they promised. They have no alternative. We will not give them this opportunity. We have no other choice but to defend our land and get it back. What would the other choice be? It would be that we have no state, no people. This would be just a scorched land. This is the only alternative which I will never take into account. This is a man who's already seen his country lose so much. Peace talks, the only way to end the suffering, then must come justice. You've said that you're willing to speak with Vladimir Putin if there's a chance to find a diplomatic path to peace. But given all that your country has been through, would you ultimately like to see Vladimir Putin before a war crimes, a war crimes tribunal? Regarding the meeting with the Russian president, I didn't say I want, I have to see the president if we plan to solve this issue through diplomacy. Whether I want the Russian leader to be presented to the tribunal, to the court, it's not me. It's only him. I think that all who issued orders, these shameful orders, to eliminate peaceful citizens, women, children and others, should be judged by the International Court. We know how long it may take. We know how the International Courts work. We will wait. If not we, then our children will live up to the day when the policy of this state will be completely ruined. After two hours, it was time to leave. Security tight for this station's VIP visitor. His journey, a very dangerous one. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Kyiv.